What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon X walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we kind of rushed it a little. Defeated everybody in the gym, I think. I hope, maybe, probably. And, well, now it is time for us to actually move on right here in, uh, I think, where am I? Comarine City, or town, or whatever, and all that stuff. And, uh, yeah, well, in our last episode, I kind of rushed it because it was my dad's birthday at the time I was recording this whole thing. And, yeah, we had a rager. I had a, had a beer or two with my old man. It was very special and all that stuff. But, anywho, now we're going to be moving on right here. And as you can see, we get a holoclip, a holoclip received. And, ooh, it's Lysander. Lysandre. Professor Sycamore told me you'd now wield Mega Evolution. This is truly wonderful. With that power, you can steer your future in the better direction. We can't just cover up the old with the old filth with the new filth. I need I implore you to consider consider what we need to do to change the world into a new beautiful world. Okay, alrighty. So that's kind of odd when you're asking me when you're asking me that. Okay, well, never mind. Whatever. So we're gonna be moving on right here, guys. We're gonna be going into the desert because we can, and uh, let's talk to a few people here. I need to get to L Lumio City, but the gate is closed due to power outage. How could the power outage happen anyway? I mean, Kalos Power Plant is right there in, on Route 13. Hmm. You don't say. Did you know that? Uh, did you know that some Pokemon can change their appearance in the battle depending depending on their ability? Yes, I do. I do know that. And well, let's see. Hey, yo, take this. We get ourselves the Black Sludge. Very, very, very nice. Uh, which we call it. You can totally mess with the opponents uh, with a trick move to force it to the Pokemon is in poison deck. Okay, so I don't even know what that meant. Whatever. I'm not even reading. I'm excited that I'm here. How dare? How dare you keep us waiting? Oh, jeez. Never mind. <laughs> Just kidding, trainer. We weren't really waiting for you. We were on our way to the power plant uh, at Professor Sycamore's request, but the gate is connecting Lumioi City to Round 13 has been shut down, has been shut by a mysterious power outage. We uh, we have to investigate. Hey, so there's a uh, Central Kalos and Coso Kalos, right? Can you tell me what comes next? I'm just going to give you the answer. It's Mountain Kalos. So I'm going to give you the opportunity to power up your Pokédex again. Hmm. So now we added the mountain or the mountain decks or the mountain color the pokedex has been added to our pokedex and let's see you know look you look different somehow your face seems more mature <laughs> just joshing you uh i'll be taking my leave now bon voyage hmm you don't say uh, okay I'm, I'm, it's probably the beard i got i got a beard you know going on and all that stuff anywho let's go ahead and take a look at his mountain decks right here so as you can see, um, this is the Kalos uh, Coastal Dex. We haven't really do, done a lot, but again, we're going to be going right here and going straight to the Mountain Dex. And unfortunately, we got no Pokemon. There has been one Pokemon from the Mountain Dex that we've seen, and that is Weeping Bell. And well, that is pretty much it right there. So we are just going to we are going to, we're going to be going on a new adventure right here on the Mountain Dex. And here we are, the Lumioi Badlands. This place is usually windy. It's sandy, and you're going to be finding a buttload of Pokemon right around here. Now, as you can see, you're in the light gray area. No Pokemon will attack you, but as you can see, there is a Pokemon lurking by. It's digging. Now, if you go on uh, skates right here, yeah, you're going to be blown by the air, and bam, you're going to get attacked by a buttload of Pokemon. Just a buttload of Pokemon, and would you look at that? We found a Pokemon that we are very familiar with. So, I'm going to try and capture it. Not because I want to put it on my team, but guess what? We had it on our team before in our last uh, two, two episodes or two walkthroughs ago. We had a Gibble, and well, it is time to capture this Pokemon right here because we're going to add it to our collection right now. I think it was named Wichumacolic. Yes. I think it was called... Toothless. Shout out to Toothless uh, 132, 134, can't even remember. <laughs> Sorry if I'm mistaken that. But Godzilla 3 gets some experience. And we got ourselves a Gibble. Look at this guy right here. Both Dragon and Ground type Pokemon, the Land Shark Pokemon. It's Ness Horizontal Hole, or Ness Horizontal Holes, worn by glo Geothermal Heat. Foes who get close to can expect to be pounced and bitten. 
Damn. This Pokemon's a little, uh... This guy's a little majestic and all that stuff. So, yes, we are going to be naming him again. Welcome back, Toothless. If I could only spell it right. Hold on. Toothless. Okay, so I, I, I'm, I'm just mistaken that. Look at that. Toothless. Thank you. Thank you very much. So there it is, guys. Toothless is back. But it's not going to be on our team or anything like that. It's just going straight to our box, just in case we need to evolve this Pokemon. And, well, the wind is still blowing, and we're going to be... Not writing our, uh, not writing our, 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 whatchamacallit, uh, our, uh, skate, or our skates, because, yeah, we're not gonna have enough strength right there. And, well, we're gonna be finding a lot of items right here. And a lot of weird stuff. And, of course, we're gonna be getting attacked by a buttload of Pokemon right here. So, here we have another Pokemon, Trampage. And I guess... Yes, we did have it in our last, or in our Pokemon Omega Ruby walkthrough, so I'm going to capture it. Yes, guys, I'm going to capture it and evolve it and then call it a very good name and all that stuff. I think it was called Sandstorm Nader or something. I don't even, I don't even remember. I'm going to check my Pokemon walkthrough right here because it has been a while since I played Omega Ruby. Don't worry, guys, I will be back on Pokemon Omega Ruby just to finish up the whole thing. Because I think in the last time, we actually defeated, uh, let's see, in the last episode, we finally finished up the Delta series? Yeah, the Delta series. And, well, look at that. We got ourselves a new Pokemon, Trapage. The Ampit Pokemon, ground Pokemon. It lives in arid deserts and makes a sloppy pit, uh, or slopping pit trap in the sand where it, it patiently awaits prey. So, let's see, uh, well, I'm gonna go right here, and I'm just gonna be checking up on my phone and seeing what Pokemon it was called again. Again, guys, I have a very bad memory. Very, 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 very bad. Let's see, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Wait for it. Wait for it. I'm still waiting for it. Um, hold on. Hold your horses. <laughs> I'm making you guys wait. Uh, let's see. I think it was Earthquake or Sandstorm. I don't really remember, guys. I'm sorry. It has been a while since I've actually had this Pokemon on my team. So we're going to go into the last episode right here. Let's see. I'm checking it out. Just trying to check my team here. There's a Hariyama. And I'm still running. And I'm attacking. Oh, here we are. It is called... God dang it! <laughs> I can't even see its name! Oh, Desert Storm! <laughs> wow. Okay, so, welcome back to the team, Desert Storm. Man! I have a really bad memory. Very bad memory! Good God! Must have been all those hits from playing football and all that stuff, so... Let's see, Desert Storm. Welcome back. And, uh, yes, you're going to be going into the PC box and all that crud. Yeah, buddy. Okay. And, of course, we're going to get attacked by more Pokemon right here. Uh, one of those Pokemon is a Dugtrio, and it does have Arena Trap. So just be aware of that right there, guys. And then, uh, let's see, we're going to walk right here. There might be an item. But there's parts of the power plant right there. You can't really get in here because you need, a, you need to unlock that door. And I'm going to try and run away from this guy real quick. And it's going to be a little hard to actually skate around here since the wind is blowing uh, the opposite direction right there. And, well, let's see. Where would it take us? Right here. Never mind. Okay, so we didn't really need that. And, well, look at that. More power plant stuff. I don't think you can do anything around this area except for these spots where Team, Team Flare is going to be around. And, bam! Getting attacked by another Pokemon right here. And it's another Gibble. Sorry, buddy. There's only room for one Gibble. Okay, so we're going to run away and never, ever return. Okay, so let's see. Ah, I see an item right there. So let's go right ahead and jump around there. And bam, we got ourselves a flame, pl uh, flame pit. Flame plate. I can't even say it. Flame plate. Flame, flame, flame. Pay, play, plate. I can't even say it. A very hard time speaking and all that stuff. And, well, let's see. There's nothing else. Okay, so, let's see, let's see, let's see, going right here, going down, this guy's following us everywhere, 
no chance whatsoever. And the only way you can't, the way, the only way you won't battle those Pokemon is if you are in this gray spot or, you know, light brown spot right here. And well, as you can see, trainer tips: Electric type Pokemon are immune to paralysis. Well, uh, well. You can tell me that. You can tell me that, but I'm pretty sure I've had a Pokemon, uh, an electric type Pokemon, uh, paralyzed and all that stuff. And good God, <laughs> getting attacked by another Pokemon again—it's a gibble. Man, these land sharks are just like getting on top of me and everything. Okay, so let's get the heck out of here. Alrighty, so let's move on ahead and. Again, it's going to be a little hard just to actually move around here when the air is blowing your way, but as you can see, the wind, it stopped blowing for just a little bit, so that gave me the advantage to actually go around here, and good god, shouldn't have done that. Okay, so, right here, and good god, getting attacked again by another Pokemon. So, look at that, we're going to get attacked by another Trap Itch, and uh, hopefully this Trap Itch does not have any arena traps or anything like that. So, let's get out of here. Get out of the way. Don't want to be attacked by this fool right here. And, well, one one big thing about this whole bar is that... Crap baskets. Getting attacked by another Pokemon. There is a little bit of a notch right there on the bar. Now, the... The messed up part about this whole area is that if the wind is blowing, that notch right there is going to slow you down. And it's going to stop you right at that point. And... Uh, but if you go with enough velocity, it, you can actually go through this whole area right here. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm actually going to go through areas right here just to grab some items. Remember, guys, there are hidden items around here. And, well, let's see. I need to teach somebody some Rock Smash. Let's see. Hold. Who can learn Rock Smash and then just forget about it later on? Let's see. There we go. It's just a TM. I can give it to Fluvolt right here, and let's see, Fluvolt. Learn it for just a for just a, an episode, I guess. Let's see. You know what? Charge it really doesn't do anything right there. So yeah, like it doesn't really do anything with the, with the charge. So I'm just gonna replace charge for just the time being. Eventually, I'm gonna you know replace a whole bunch of moves on Fluvolt because it's close to evolving now. I, I did read in the comments from somebody here. Who commented on one video like six or seven times that Aaliyah was better. Now I'm hoping that's not my niece right there because if it is, then uh, I'm sorry, baby, but I gotta do what I gotta do. I already planned this team ahead. I get it. Many of you guys want to see some different Pokemon here, but that's the main reason why I came out with that hack, uh, the hack video. And let's see. I'm gonna use a bike right here. Look at that. We found ourselves a. Actually, hold on. Found ourselves. Hold on. Another, yes, we found ourselves another TM, which is Charge uh, Charge Beam, a very good move for Electric Top Pokemon. Look at that! Look at that! We're doing something good right here, and uh, well, we're not gonna find anything here now. So let's see. I think we've like, I think we've I think we found a whole bunch of other stuff right here. So let's see. Now it is time for us to it's time to blade right here. Look at that. Okay. Now there is a certain, there is a spot right here that I kind of uh, walked by. God dang it! I did it again. Okay, time to blade again. Anybody seen that movie? I've seen it plenty of times. Here we go. Time to blade. Ah oh, crap! Damn it! <laughs> you see that? <laughs> uh, alrighty, alrighty. So we're getting attacked by another gibble. And we're gonna run away because we gotta go. We gotta, yeah, we can't, we can't just, uh... Alright, here we go. Let's blade. And of course, since we had no speed, that little notch right there is gonna stop us, and we're gonna get attacked by more Pokemon, which is awesome. And unfortunately, we have the pleasure of finding a Dugtrio. And, well, we got away. We got away. Luckily, it didn't have arena trap. And, well, let's do it again. Look at that. We got enough velocity. And this time, we're going to walk because we don't want to... Okay, so let's go right here. Look at that. Good boy. Okay, so here we go. Fluff Volt. Break that rock. 
And we found ourselves a pearl, something very, very much needed for, you know, financial stuff. And here we have a burn heal. Always nice to have that. And, well, it is finally time to, let's see, let's talk to this individual. Those Team Flare people in the red suits. Nobody who's worth anything hangs out with a group of wearing, gar uh, wearing garish outfits like that. Hmm. You don't say. Okay, so. Now, there is something going on right here with Team Flare. And, well, this guy right here is going to be like, I'm a member of Team uh, of the Stylish uh, Team Flare, and I'm going to win with style. Okay, alrighty. Let's go. So here we go. Team Flare Grunt wants the battle, and uh, he is coming out with a Hound Doom. Look at that. And Godzilla number three kicking ass, ready to take names here. Let's get it. Alrighty, so let's go with the Bulldoze attack. We already got this. Look at this. That's right. Nobody can stop Godzilla 3. And more experience points for all of us. Gaia 3 grows to level 39. And of course, Bonesaw grows to level 33. And he's going to be coming out with a gold bat. So let's go right ahead and use Fluff Bolt right here. Now, like I was saying early on, yeah. Somebody may or may have not had an issue with Fluff Bolt being on the team. Now, again, I'm going to explain this. And this is, you know, I'm not trying to be a dick or anything, but I did pre-plan this team ahead of schedule. I, you know, normally I would ask you guys, pick my team or pick my starter. But since I already did a hack walkthrough in Pokemon Liquid Crystal, I think I kind of did it, well, I did it for you guys. That way I can get this Pokemon X since I've actually played this game plenty of times. And I kind of know what team I like, especially, you know, right now. And... You know, the motivation behind this is grabbing every single Pokemon from all six generations. And look at that. Bloodbolt kicks ass, takes names. Bam! Level 29. Rightfully earned. Look at that. And it wants to learn Confuse Ray. So... Yeah... You know what? Screw it. Let's go ahead and teach it to... Uh, let's replace Rock Smash. Eventually, I'm going to have somebody else use Rock Smash, but that was just a one-timer thing just to find those items. And we defeated a Team Rocket, or Team Flare Grunt. <laughs> Look at that. Feeling like a pimp. That's right. Alrighty. And now, I'll stylishly run your way. The hell? Huh? Where's my power plant pass? Oh no! D did I drop it? My power plant plant somewhere? somewhere? Try and say that three times. I know, I know what to do. I'll make a stylish deduction. I must have dropped it when I was feeling around the boulder nine steps east of where I was standing. If only I had a dowsing machine, and then I would find it with style. You don't say. Alrighty. Right here. There you are. <laughs> Found it. Alrighty. Okay, and bam. So... We found that, and now it will take us into our next adventure right here, which will be going into the power plant. So, stay tuned, guys. In the next episode, we will be going into the power plant and taking care of what, what, whatever's going on in there, because there's something big going on in there. So, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.